coming home, coming home. Tell the world I'm coming home. Let the rain wash away all the pain of yesterday. I'm coming home. To the olive tree branches and the blood-filled roots of Palestine, I give this poem, dear homeland, I give you this ink, these blue lifelines, I give you each breath between my stanzas. Dear homeland, I give you these words in place of the silence Israel has forced upon you. My mother tells me of the days she swung on playground swings, how going back and forth felt like time travel. I was six years old, she watched your blue-colored skies turn crimson, like God was bleeding with you, like you were bleeding for him. He held back the rain like he was holding back tears. He held back the rain so he wouldn't wash away your agony. He held back the rain because there was already too much pouring in. Tears and blood falling on your holy ground. Towns with only raining ash. She tells me how houses became mausoleums. How front lawns turned into graveyards one explosion at a time. She tells me how our bodies became treasures. How Israelis became bloodthirsty pirates. How they claim these Arabian oceans force our people to make their own tear-filled rivers. Split the throats of the cards who run faster. She tells me how they hung our children's bodies like chandeliers. Made their angels shine over your towns. Their blood water your trees. How the cinders of carcasses fed your soil. You have been inheriting our debts since the genesis of this genocide. Dear homeland, I want to say from this story. I want to speak of your olive tree branches to my someday children and not have their roots engulfed in blood. I want to tell them of the war will someday win and have their heartbeats quicken and their blood dance. I want them to have a hope for the answers of the tree they're going. So hold this red, white, green, and black the moment to survive the massacre. No one in the world hear their voices that believe in the supernatural. They'll get chills from the ghosts and they're dying like that every time one of my children speaks, it'll feel like their ancestors resurrected in victory. Until then, I beg of you to hold on, to close your ears to the explosions, to only feel the fire within me, to witness the blessings within you. Dear homeland, I promise I will one day build a swing set underneath your olive tree branches. And my someday children and I will go time traveling through the essence of survival. And we'll smile at the small streams our people have left. And God will finally let his tears fall like he's been saving them for us all along.